Welcome to the Mayor's Update for March. We'll start with an update of city business items, but as always, we'll try to share some of the more fun-related issues at the end of this to end on a high note. Let's start with the City Council update. At our second meeting in February, the Council got an update on the staff's progress meeting the Council priority goals. Once again, I am really delighted to brag about how dedicated our staff is in meeting our community's expectations in implementing our program to increase our diversity, equity, and inclusion, foster economic development and job creation, embrace environmental sustainability and climate action, improve and update our parks, facilities, and other aging infrastructure, and assure public safety and social wellness. We also reviewed the initial design for the community complex in Heather Farm with a focus on the public building component. I had no idea how much time it would take to analyze and come up with a recommendation on the building's roof. If you saw the January update, you will remember that I asked for people to apply to serve on Walnut Creek's commissions. The work of the commissions helps our council make good decisions. Many folks step forward to volunteer to serve on our advisory boards. The council had a tough time choosing from the applicants for our arts, transportation, planning and parks, recreation and open space commission. Just before the second February meeting, we had a chance to welcome the new appointees and also to thank those who were cycling off of their commission appointments. We also recognize the members of the current and graduating youth commission members. Our first meeting this month concentrated on the aquatic portion of the complex. The design will include two new pools, one focused on recreational purposes, the second pool to be focused on the more sophisticated swimming requirements of our swim teams. The economic development update delivers some interesting new opportunities. Dryer's Grand Ice Cream has moved its U.S. headquarters to Ignacio Valley Road. Do you know about McLaren sports cars? They are a driver's dream and they now are at a showroom and service center on 1425 Parkside Drive. Vroom, vroom. Feeling a little or a lot out of sorts, we have the new Ellie Mental Health Facility opened at 2255 Ignacio Valley, Suite W. Of course, we have new and unique restaurant opportunities. The Breakfast Club at Midtown opened at Ignacio Plaza. If the line of folks waiting for a table means anything, it should be a hit. Dozone, a Chinese dumpling and noodle place, opened on Locust Street. Now for the fun stuff. Wonder what happened to ARF? The good news is the facility still does all the great work it has always done that makes us so proud. Those services include offering pets for adoption, helping keep pets healthy, pet training classes, pet care assistance, and advice, and my favorite program, working with veterans in readjusting to civilian life with a dog or a cat companion. The Lesher Theater knocked it out of the park with the program College Notes, the singing clubs that perform a cappella, and the stage run of Mystic Pizza we told you about in last month's update. Coming up will be The Great Leap, a fictional story about a USF basketball team traveling to Beijing back in 1989. It has on-the-court drama with cultural and political overtones. As always, check out the upcoming performances on the Lesher website or call the theater at 925-943-7469. Wondering why the Fountainhead art installation is missing in front of the Mechanics Bank? The wear and tear of the weather and the little ones patting the head to splash the water needs to be fixed. It will return as soon as possible. I hope you remembered to make your reservations for spring break camps running April 1st through April 15th. There is an array of camp options to specifically meet a child's needs. There are some openings, 
So you and your family can use this opportunity. To do so, go to the Walnut Creek Arts and Rec website or call 925-295-1490 to reserve your space. This is also a reminder for the 50 plus adult crowd that the Pop-Up Trips Arts and Rec Department's new program offers limited availability trips to exciting destinations. There will be alerts and to get the information, check either through the website or again the phone number 925-295-1490. There will be a jazz band fundraiser to support the Arts and Rec scholarships for those youngsters whose family can't afford to take advantage of the amazing learning opportunities offered by Arts and Rec. The event happens on the evening of Thursday, April 18th. The group's big band sound has thrilled our community for over 23 years. To get tickets, contact the Lesher Theatre box office at the website. Remember, sharing events with your fellow community members helps cement our city into the warm and welcoming place we all want it to be. Let us know if you've attended a play or event, or if you've had an interest in another facet of our Walnut Creek culture. Also, let us know if there's something going on here that you'd like to share in our future updates. It is my joy to share this time with you. Thank you and look forward to the April update coming soon.